Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. And today, I'm starting up the day in the 340 Magnum. Gonna go hook up back onto the wagon. I don't know why I unhooked it last night. We're gonna unhook on the wagon. We'll get a grain cart load, then dump the quad, and then get another grain cart load. Whew, it's nine o'clock, or 10 o'clock on a Sunday, and we're gonna get rolling here this morning. They stalled the auger. They we're moving to the bin that we've been drying into to help core it out and get the fines out of there. And they stalled the auger when they moved it, so that's fun. Alrighty, heading down to Pat's place. Trying not to make the road a muddy mess. With the 340 and the 644 Brent wagon. You can kind of see what we're going to be fighting right here. Stocks that are snapped off. And there's quite a bit of them in this field. This is not gonna be a fun one to combine. So we're gonna try and knock this out ASAP. It's cause the stock quality is degrading. I'm gonna walk over to the 400 right now. Bring that thing over and unload it. Full. Trying to take this thing home. Man of the hour right there. Propane guy. We're living, a lot of farmers around here are living and breathing by that guy. Mainly because there's a massive propane shortage and there has been for a while. Alrighty, so just dumped the wagon. Nathan and Pat are about halfway done with chores. I'm gonna dump the quad right now. Take that over and dump it. This is really wet stuff. So we're probably, it's gonna take a while to dry it down, but it's all we can do. Dumping right now. Look how wet that stuff is. Look how much it's hanging up. Flexing. Love it. Also, I'm going to put the 190 on the 644 just to see how that thing looks. Because I don't think it'll track as much mud out. Time to get loaded up again. I'm going to dump off, fin finish out the Steiger, and then head over to the 8050 and dump that. I'm going to leave the camera in here because I'm in a hurry. We made much less of a mess going with the 190 on the wagon, so that's what we'll probably do from now on. Big reason why is because we didn't. We only have four tires instead of eight. The tires are in line with the actual wagon. They're spaced instead of 15 inches offset. Plus, these tires are almost bald, whereas the, the 340 has really nice tires. So that's just why we didn't track up as much. All right, I'm unload, unloading the wagon right now. Nathan and Curtis went down to go feed the calves down at Bat's place. My dad and Pat went down to go put the cones on the combine. If you guys don't know what the cones are, a couple of videos will be up here of us using it last year. It's basically active moving augers on the ends of the corn head to help pick up down corn. So we're gonna go put those on because the field we're in right now is down. All right, just had a delicious meal for my grandma. My favorite meal she makes, steak, potatoes, corn, and strawberry dessert, basically. Basically a white cake and strawberries, fresh strawberries that she makes. I'm gonna take this wagon down, help those put help those guys put the cones on the the eight row corn head, and then hopefully start picking. So there's this tractor is definitely not the 340, but there's this there's one thing that this tractor has that that 340 will not have for a while, and that it's paid off. <laughs> well, that's where this thing's gonna sit for a little while. They're working on putting the cones on. Looks like they almost got the first one done. Like again, you guys put it, we put it on the outside snouts to help kind of roll it in to roll out this down corn that's leading away. Roll in this down corn that's leading away. Alrighty, so we put the cones on, which are right there on the edge of the heads. Took these things off, put the cones on. Took a lot of troubleshooting, took about an hour, but hey, got it to work, so. Nathan and Pat are gonna make a round real quick, just make sure everything works. I'm gonna check this combine, pull some wraps off. Which I can see, it looks like the folding joint wrapped. So I'm gonna try and yank this stuff off and then let's get combining. All right, good enough. Up here, 
I got hit in the face with that, with the stock last year, so I'm being extra sensitive this year about it. <sighs> Whew. Made it. Gotta go bring Pat his Mountain Dew, wherever that's at. And we'll head up and start the dryer. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna start up the dryer. So all you gotta do is make sure everything's running. I just turn on our dry leg. And press the start button. Come over here, turn on your LP. LP's turned on, tanks are full. Now we'll let this thing go through a startup sequence. It's my first time doing this all year, but if I remember it's pretty simple. Just follow the, screen, the things on the screen, make sure all your switches over there are turned on, and turn on our LP. So now everything's running, I can smell the propane going. So in a little bit, you'll start seeing smoke coming out of there because the temperature is slowly starting to increase. It's at 68 degrees right now, 69, blah, blah, blah. 69 degrees right now. At 170 degrees right now, this dryer controls everything automatically. It controls the temperature of the burner that it, that it wants it to, just depending on your dry moisture coming out and your wet moisture coming in. If your wet moisture is coming in, it'll slow down your mode rate, which is right now it's at 40, and increase your temperature. And then it basically just keeps an eye on it. it kinda, it's always trying to find that set point where we want it to go, which is 14-1, just depending on what's various factors. Just little old me, fueling up again. Unloading. Tastes good. A nice little deer. I'm off and running. Pat's coming down right there. Alrighty, I'm just coming out empty. I'll probably meet Curtis on the road, I'm guessing. Go back and get another load. Time to get loaded again. There goes Pat. He's gonna try and open up this kind of west side, get up, open up around the house and try not to get a big old wet hole back there. Curtis wanted some practice driving semis because he wants to get a, do his CDL test here in the next year or so. So he's running truck today. It's legal to do that from farm to from farm to farm. So that's what he's doing. So I'm gonna suck on wagon duty, which isn't too bad. I don't mind doing this stuff. Oh, not tall enough. Alrighty guys, time for me to go live. Switching out mounts. Be sure to check it out. Card will be right here. I'll get you catch you guys when I'm done. Got a good live stream, guys. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to go do that. It's actually a really good live stream. So back combining right now. Be a great golden hour, but I don't have time to fly the drone right now. Nathan's right there, picking corn. Sean's right there on the hill. Pat is somewhere over this hill. It's just beautiful out. Okay, we're live here in Clinton County. Once again, you get Ron's dad, but hauling green cart. As you can see, the sun did pop out about a half hour ago. Pat's in the 70-88 12 row. Ground's off of wet, corn's wet. Way in the distance, you got Nathan up there with Sean. 
We're just tooling along, about three miles an hour. Living the dream. I don't know whose dream it is, but we're living it. So, lots of corn going on, lots of corn to go. So, with that being said, we'll see what happens. We'll just keep trucking along. Okay, I'm back live, and you see Ronald out there. Staying there doing nothing. You got me doing all the work in here, filling him up. Lots of corn going on here in Clinton County. Down by Preston. Starting to get dark. The sun came out for about a half hour, so you know it's going to get dark quick. But that's what it is. Still got two combines going strong, one way up there in the distance and one way in the back. So, once again, this here is Ronald's father, Clint Man. Sign it off. Hope you enjoyed that wisdom that Budman just partaked on you. But now I need to head home. I'll head to the farm and then head home. Because I haven't seen my wife in over a week. And I have a couple surprises next to her. So, or surprises for her. Like a meal and stuff. So, see if I can get stuck. Oh yeah. Over there I spun out. So. Last of you'll see up tonight, but they gotta quit here in about an hour to go load cattle anyway, so not ditching them too early. Guys, I beg of you, that's a second almost accident that happened because idiots try to pass slow moving farm equipment when there's oncoming traffic. First time when I had my turn signal on, turn and left, and a car tried to pass me. Second time someone tried to pass me and a semi was coming at me. Just please, it's not worth it, guys. Take the extra two minutes, bite your tongue, and wave at me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be. Uh, going slow in front of you guys, but we have to do it to get our crops out But please it's not worth your life or mine Alrighty guys, I'm turning it in for the night as I said before I'm gonna take my wife to surprise my wife with a couple things so My last load so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did be sure to like comment and subscribe Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and of course guys as always ta-ta for now